He was on a good line. Putting for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And this effort by Justin Thomas. And here we are with the third shot. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Second shot here on the fifth. Woo, back there, horsey. <laughs> Sitting at two under, currently in the lead. <laughs> oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Okay, steady now. This next putt is for bogey. And that putt just was never hit hard enough. It's, it defies gravity, that one. That should have chased out more, but it didn't. That hole's done. Patrick Cantlay currently in the lead. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. Absolutely tattooed that one. Second shot here on the sixth. Interesting choice of the driver here. Oh. He's in the bunker. Not sure how this one's lying. John? Uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ball in the sand here, guys. Let's see how they deal with this one. Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened.
lovely shot out of the bunker. That's in tight. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, I'm down on the ninth. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. And this putt to move into the top five. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. Patrick Cantlay is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead. Teeing off here at the seventh. Opting for the five wood. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. A yeah, quality shot, that. And this one for back to back birdies. John, do you have any info down there? Down on the 11th as Jim Furyk sets up his next shot. Okay, let's get back to the action. Well, Rich, you think they're going to make this one? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. That was a gallant attempt. Six feet remaining to the cup. Looks good off the blade. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. That's heading for the fairway. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from just a short time ago. Lining up for his third now. And back to the course with the live action. Playing from around 230 yards. Two strokes off the lead. Going with a three wood here. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hull a long one, still counts. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. This putt for inside the top five on the leaderboard. Uh, a bit long on that one. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. Good putt, that. I will take that also into the top five now. And that par ensures he'll stay right there at even par. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine.
Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Time for the second shot here at the ninth. Getting ready to play their third. Just a couple back from our leader. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. This one's for Birdie. That one's come up short. Downhill putt. And sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. Three feet to go here to the hole. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Rich, this player's just a few shots back with the last nine to play. Did you prefer to be the Greyhound or the Bunny? Three strokes down with nine to go, Luke. They're going to have to come up with something sporty to get to the top of the leaderboard at day's end. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Oh, that is crushed. <laughs> Playing from around 210 yards here. Three strokes off the lead. <laughs> Opting for the three wood. Oh, that's beautifully judged. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Oh, so close. This is a par putt. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the 11th. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. From about 130 yards here, three behind our leader. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Well, this one's right at the pin. Well... You're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. 
Hey, nice looking line. Opportunity to make their par. And well hold. Let's move on. Now four back after that hole. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Oh, just missed. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Nicely played, moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Nicely done. Sitting at one over in a share of seventh. And here we are with the third shot. Just three back from the leader. This one's going right at the pin here. Yep, that shot's safely on the green. A tie for fourth place if you can hold this putt. will end up short. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. And down it goes. Sitting at one over for the day. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. This is from miles away. All good putters accelerate through the ball. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Ooh, right by the hole. 
four feet to the cup. Well, at least it wasn't a double. He's currently tied for 13. We have a par three on this one. Looks like they've got the five wood. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Error mailed the green with that approach. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And as the putt drops, two over, heading down the stretch. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. We've arrived at a par four hole. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. This shot from around 210 yards. Five shots off the lead. Going with the five wood. Not bad. This putt is for a spot inside the top 10. Oh, that's frustrating. If you can make this one, it's for par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that, Oh, I love the strategy of a short par four. Good luck here. They are trailing, heading into the short par four. Do they take it on to the layup? How much do they trust their swing right now? We'll find out. That's a good looking shot there. Sitting at two over par. Well played, mate. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. It's just about three feet away. Okay, let's head to the next. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18.
Oh, absolutely flushed. Second shot here at the 18th. Getting ready to play their third. Five strokes behind our leader. Pretty good shot there. And this putt is for a final score of 73. Ouch, that hurts. Par putt coming up here. And that will conclude his tournament to date. What did you make of this week's performance? A top 20? It was okay. It, it wasn't great by any stretch of the imagination, but when you finish top 20, you're still playing some good golf. Not bad. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
Hello and welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. Luke Elby alongside Rich Bean here in Las Vegas. It's known as Thin City, but we're at TPC Summerlin for the golf. What's this course like? This golf course historically plays firm and fast and yields lots of birdies. So players going into this week know full well that they have to have the putter going. They need to hit a lot of greens, but they also need to make sure that they're making five, six, seven birdies a day out there. Because if they're not, if they're struggling with birdies and only making pars, then the entire field is going to pass them by. It's a great opportunity because historically the wind doesn't blow very much and all the par fives are reachable. But still, having to make birdies, knowing you need to make birdies, isn't always the easiest thing. We're in Vegas and you can even see the famous strip from the golf course. Do the players need to roll the dice, have a little gamble out on that course? I think you have to gamble everywhere on the PGA Tour, but in Las Vegas, I think it's required, isn't it? Be rude not to. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Get excited. This could go in. Just three feet to the cup. Job done. Let's head to the next. Starting the round at even par. The second at TPC Summerland is a par four, measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Oh, that was pure. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Going with the seven. This one might need to sit. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Looks like a strong 25 feet. Just didn't drop. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And that puddle drop. Well done. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Good looking shot, this. Playing from around 190 yards out. Opting for the five wood. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Outside chance here for the birdie.
This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Go on, get in the hole. No, that's too bad. You'll have to settle for bogey there. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Well, that's a shame. That'll drop them down the standings, that's for sure. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole, just be accurate on approach. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. Going with the six iron here. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. It's been a bit of a struggle on the greens. Hopefully you can change it here. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. And what a way to jump into the top ten. And unfortunately dropping back to level with the card. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. We need this one to bounce right. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. That was a gallant attempt. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Good-looking putt. And there it is. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. This shot coming from around the 150-yard marker. Four strokes off the lead.
Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Putts about four feet from the hole. Yeah, nice to make a mid range par putt. He's currently tied for 10th. And moving down the leaderboard as well. The seventh of TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. That a boy, good shot. Even for the day, currently tied for 10th place. Yeah, well played. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. About 27 feet from here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Big putt for par coming up. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Trailing by four strokes. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. Is that right? I think so. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Oh, that one just missed the hole. 16 feet to the cup. It was on a good line. Putting for bogey. This one's looking good. Well hold. Currently at plus one for the day. The ninth at TPC Sumlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really? The main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safely in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. <laughs> Typically played in the fall portion of the season, but it really does have a great field these days. The Shriners Hospital for Children's Open, staged in Las Vegas. A great atmosphere around in the city. Rich, what do you like the most about it? We're in Vegas, baby. I mean, what's not to love about Vegas? 
And the players love it, too, but they also love what the Shriners Hospital for Children is all about. They give so much money back to the charities involved. It's wonderful. They bring a lot of the kids out, and the players understand it. They know it. So as much as they love coming to Vegas, you know, letting their hair down a little bit, a lot of it has to go back to the charity component of it. That's why they come. The golf course is fun. You can freewheel it out here. It is at the beginning of the year. They want to come out, and they want to make some birdies. They want to test out new equipment. They want to test out new swing theories. They want to come out and work on their game a little bit in a competitive environment, and there's no better environment than this because they can go out and see where they're at because it's usually no wind, warm conditions, and you can get a good judge of exactly where their game's at. So I think players use this as a building block for the next year's play. And what a venue. I mean, it, it's just you get rewarded for good shots. You get penalized for bad ones. But it's a really good environment to go out there and, like I said, test new swing theories, work on your game a little bit, and kind of see where you're at. And it never hurts to make a fast start to the new season. Of course, this is part of that wraparound schedule. And if you're catching a few shows as well or hitting into the casinos, well, you get a complete week, don't you? Wow. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of fun in Las Vegas, is there? As long as it stays in Las Vegas. Sitting at two over for the day. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. That's really not what we were looking for. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? They are into some deep, deep rough here, fellas. Let's watch, see what they can do. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough.
Let's see if you can make this. And keep the par on the card. It's got a chance. Three feet to go here to the hole. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on. Trailing by seven after that hole. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole. This green. That one's heading down Broadway. Second shot here on the 11th. Choosing the 9 iron here. Wow, what a shot. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Butting for birdie. That starts off on a good line. Well, what a way to bounce back. Nice putt to hold. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Twelfth here at Summerlin is another short par four, 442 yards off the tips, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water that starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. 
That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Opting for the nine iron. That was a bit wayward. Uh, that was a little untidy, wasn't it? Straight into the water. Time now for the fourth shot. Going with the nine iron, I think. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par 5, measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with a tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left-hand side. But if you want to lay up, Make sure you're giving yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three-putt it. Be careful on approach. That should find the fairway. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Choosing the 9-iron here. That might be one club too many. No harm, no foul there with that shot. All right, John. How's this putt looking? This is a long one, guys. Looks like around 37 feet to the cup. Okay, steady now. Just three feet to the cup. And down it goes. Now seven shots behind after that. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long part. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Now yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. That's the right pace. This should drop. 
That's outstanding. What a putt. And let's have another look at that one. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The 15th at TPC Sutherland is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Second shot here on the 15th. That's some good golf right there. And this putt to move into the top 20. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. He's currently tied for 15th. Moving up the leaderboard, I like it. The 16th at TPC Summerlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. A par five playing 560 yards. A well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. Sitting at plus one. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the pace. Oh, well played into birdie range here at the 16th. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. And this part to move into the top 10. This one has eyes for the hole. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Oh, he'll take that and a spot the top 10 to boot. He's currently tied for eighth. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three playing 196 yards. Jonathan Bird once famously holed out in the playoff here to snatch the title. The green shapes right to left towards the hazard. So make sure if you're going to go for it, be very accurate.
Opting for the hybrid, I think. This is a good time to get hot with the tournament on the line. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Oh, that was a beauty. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. And the punt will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee, great recovery. So no movement there. He stays at even with the card. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. The 18th at TPC Sutherland is a 444-yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. Yeah, that should find the cut stuff. Time for the second shot on the 18th. Going with the hybrid. Yeah, nicely played. Chance to get one under the card with this putt. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Oh, just missed. And this putt for a final score of 71. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. Well, they've put a few points on the board there, Rich, with that performance. They did. Overall, it was a good week. Our kids say it was spectacular, but a nice, solid week and a nice, solid finish in the top ten. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.
2K Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Southern Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam in the booth. And on course, we've got John McCarthy. Good day, Luke. Happy to be here at Hickory Creek. And uh, wow, talk about a first hole. Have you seen the landing area these players have to deal with? Pretty narrow out there, and there's bunkers flanking on either side. Can't wait to see what unfolds here today. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. This would be a good one to make. It's for par. It's got a chance. And in it goes for the par. He's currently tied for 11th. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. <laughs> Lovely effort, that.
And here we are with the third shot. Nicely done. This putt coming up is for Birdie. If it's up, it could be in. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Well, I don't mind this par putt. Okay, let's head to the next. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Second shot here on the third. Looks like they've got the five wood. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. And this one is for his par. Job done. Let's head to the next. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Even for the day. Currently tied for ninth. Going with the five wood. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. That's just inside the range. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. Oh, I like the look of this. That one had eyes for it the whole way. And with it, he moves to one under par. He's currently tied for fourth. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Hey. 
Outstanding approach shot. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Oh, what a stroke. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Currently a couple under for the round. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Well, this should find the short grass. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been handling a lot of greens today. Close with that chip. Three feet to go here to the hole. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Leading by a shot after that hole. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? What a bad line, this one. I'm well, playing this one from around 120 yards out. Going with the pitching wedge here. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. This putt will move them to three under par. Tracking. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And that will take him to three under. Still in the lead now after that hole. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Opting for the hybrid, I think. And he's safely on the green with that shot. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies.
get in. Ouch, that hurts. And this putt coming up for his par. And that putt will drop. Well done. He's currently sitting in first place. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? That's heading for the fairway. Second shot here on the ninth. Getting ready to play their third. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to four under. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Well, keep your hands to yourself. But yes, this player is definitely dialed in at the moment. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. <laughs> Playing from around 160 yards. Going with the seven. Wow, what a shot. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. What an opportunity to make a birdie.